Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, I'm going to show you how to use the lookup function in Numbers. So it seems this comes up for people quite a lot as I get a lot of questions about this. Say you want to have a column in Numbers where you choose an item. For instance, uh, a fruit stand. You want to choose what item of fruit was sold. Apple, orange, banana, etc. And you want then, based on that, to automatically populate the next cell with the price of the item instead of having to enter the item in every time. Well, you can do this. Of course, a lot of people know you can use a pop-up menu cell so you can choose from a list of items. But they don't know how to use the lookup function to be able to then grab the price related to that item. Let me show you. Okay, so I've set up two tables here in numbers. Now, first thing I did is I set up this main table which is going to list products sold. Uh, I set it up in a very precise way. I created this table here. Let me bring up the inspector uh, and you'll see that for the table it's got uh, one header row here and one footer row and uh, nothing, no header column here. I put in the header row that it's product and price. In the footer row I have a formula here that's basically the sum of this column. Now the way this is set up with a header and a footer row and then there's one thing in the middle here is I can expand this by simply pulling down and you can see how it duplicates the each row. So if I want to add a new item all I need to do is actually pull this down and add as many as I want. In this cell here I've created a cell that is a pop-up menu and I've populated the pop-up menu with a bunch of different items here that could appear in it. Now I've also added in there a first item called choose item which will be basically be blank. So every time I don't create one it's not populated with apple it's just populated with choose item. That's kind of the blank uh, item there. And then that's it. And price is blank. So what you would do normally here is you would choose something like Apple and then you would go here and you would manually enter the price. What would be nice is to have a way to enter the price in automatically simply by choosing the product here on the left. So the way that some people try to do this is they try to use if statements. So for instance you could say equals if and you would say this row here equals Apple uh, then its value is 0.4 otherwise it's 0. And you can see it's zero there because it's orange. If I change it to apple, it would be 0.4. Now, if I want to add orange, what I need to do then is to change this value instead of zero. It'll be another if, if product equals orange, then the value is 0.25, otherwise zero. And a nested if statement. And now I have something that actually works here. And I can do apple, I can do orange, but if I do something else, it's zero. So I have to keep nesting it and it gets very long and complex. And it's probably not the right way to do it. So you may have already noticed this other table I've created here. It's a simple little table and it just has a list of product names and it has a list of prices here on the right. And I've included choose item, which is the first uh, option here in this pop up uh, with a blank there. And I'm going to use this to basically look up the value for here based on what's here. The way you do that is using the lookup function. So I say equals lookup and the first part of lookup is what to look up. So I'm going to do product and then comma and then I'm going to do the row of this table of where to look up that product. So I'm going to click on A there. And then the next part is the price. I'm going to click on B. So look up product in this row of this table and put the value of this row in this table. And then return. And you can see there right away it picked up pear is 25 cents. And banana is 45 cents. And if I change it to choose item, you can see it's zero. So now I could go ahead and add a bunch of different items here. And you can see it fills one each each one in automatically based on this table. And the best thing about it is I could change the price over here. You can see it automatically reflects that over there. Now this grocery store sales list example uh, really is a very simple one. And you might use this in a completely different way. The main point here is to get you to look at some of these functions like lookup and see what they can do for you and how they can make some of your spreadsheets easier to manage. Go through the help in the help menu under functions help. You can read and look at examples for all these different functions. And if you use numbers a lot, it's worthwhile to actually browse through it and see what's available. Hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost now.
Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the Videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.